Hello, Christ United Methodist Church, friends and family. It's Pastor Jeremiah coming to you with this week's special devotional. And the last several years we've been doing the jewelry for mission sale here at the church. I found a way to use the jewelry for mission sale as something to kind of spark some thinking or to open new thoughts. And as you can see behind me here, all these tables are completely filled with jewelry every single one of them thousands of pieces of jewelry ready uh, for our jewelry for mission sale and several thoughts came to my mind and the first one came to me last night as i was walking around after we had set up all the tables and they were all empty just empty blank slates tables ready to receive the jewelry that has been donated and collected from so many hands and so many people to do ministry and mission in the kingdom and a lot of times if I would have, I was, as I was thinking, I was thinking about that blank slate. Those tables look so bare, so empty, especially given how much jewelry is going to be placed on them. And it really kind of started to spark a thought in me how we are all blank slates. In fact, each one of us is God's creative handiwork, able to do so much more than we imagine when we allow God to use us. And so oftentimes our we start the day and we think we got all this stuff we got to do. And I started thinking, what if we just started the day with an empty slate to see what God would do, to invite God into using us into be building his kingdom, his handiwork, his craftiness that is explored and ex ex expressed in and through each and every one of us. What if we started the day open to what God was going to do. And then the empty tables started to speak in another way to me. How was all this jewelry going to get set out? How were we going to accomplish this task where thousands of pieces of jewelry are set out? And I knew and I remembered that we had volunteers who were coming, many hands that were going to do their part to put a small piece of jewelry out one by one, row by row, organized by color and size and shape and I realized that I'm not alone. So many often times, I mean, I could imagine what if I had to set out all of this jewelry all by myself. It would take me days and days, but we're basically done after one day. We had many hands who came in and spent hours or half hours or an entire day lining up jewelry and putting it out on tables. And the task seemed to take forever, except by five o'clock, we have most of these tables covered today. Step by step, inch by inch, we accomplish what God has called us to do, which is another thing I witnessed today as you sat with this empty blank table and we got to set out jewelry one piece after one piece after one piece at a time. It started to occur to me that this is how God gets things done. God doesn't move things in earth shattering monumentous actions. More often than not, God moves things inch by inch, piece by piece, little step by little step. Change in our lives comes slowly. And more often than not, we see God in the rear view mirror, not in the present moment where we're dealing with our own struggles, worries, anxieties, fears, that God is already building something. God is creating something new in each and every one of us and building something on the blank slates that are our lives. And so much like these tables, there's a purpose and God will work all things out for God's glory. And we need not worry so much about trying to get things done ourselves, but instead rest in the fact that God will get it done. What God's work is needed to be will be done in and through us if we just take it step by step, inch by inch, and we do our best in the moments that we're given blank slates and empty tables and many hands and all these pieces just kind of reflect with me as I'm wondering about this jewelry sale this week, but more importantly, wondering how God is at work in this ministry of $2 jewelry and how God is at work in the bonding and an experience of this. And I started to think about that as well. Is it just about raising money and selling jewelry? No, it really isn't. The community of God gets to come and join. But people from our community enter through this church and encounter us. People here at Christ United Methodist Church and volunteers from our church and our community and our friends, and they encounter something that raises awareness to the ministry and mission of our churches globally. 
to be the hands and feet of Christ throughout the world. As you walk in the door, there's a sign that's the entire globe showing where all the ministry is happening from this sale taking place right here in Oregon, Ohio. And it reminds me how interconnected and connected we all are with the church throughout the world. It's not just about what we're doing here in Oregon, it's something greater. And it's not just about our church here at Christ United Methodist Church or your church, wherever you may go. It's not, we're never alone, whether your church has 10 people or 10,000 people, we're all connected to the global church, which is billions of people. There is only one church with one head and that's Christ at its head. That's the only church any of us belong to. At best, our buildings and our worship centers, wherever they are, they're mission outposts for God's kingdom to accomplish something greater than any one of us can do in any small regional location. This jewelry for mission sale also teaches me about the importance of working together. We had a lot of volunteers today and some of them didn't know each other until today, but they spent a day together getting to know each other, working together. My kids worked side by side with people and got to know them better and had lunch together and volunteered some of their time and there was laughter and joy and joking and friendship that was developed and deeper partnership in serving the Lord together, all because we gathered here to set up a bunch of jewelry. Nothing that we do is limited to our imaginations. We're blank slates that God is writing upon and building his design or painting the picture of our lives in and through our lives making something beautiful out of each and every one of us if we would just but turn our will over to God's. And so I wonder tonight, what's God going to do? How is God going to use this sale? How is God going to use me? How is God going to use our church? How is God going to use you to reveal something beautiful in the world? To take something as simple as a person as simple as you or I or your church or your community and do something incredible. We should expect that God is doing something. The message of Advent is around hope and expectation. And I'll remind you that Christian hope, hope rooted in God's promises, is not some wishy-washy hope where, you know, I hope it, does, it gets done. No, our hope is rooted in expectation. Our hope is that we know that God will do something, that God is using each and every one of us, using our churches, using our efforts, taking our little bit, our inch by inch, our step by step, and making something bigger than we can imagine out of it. And so no matter what you're facing today, no matter what you're going through in your lives, I, I want you to take that step by step, inch by inch. Know that God is working and will continue to work in and through you, through the efforts that you take, no matter how small those actions may take, just like little pieces of jewelry on a piece of table. Will you pray with me? Gracious and holy God, we thank you that no matter who we are and no matter how little it is that we are able to do, that you take that little bit and you multiply it. You make it greater than we can imagine. You can take the empty tables that are our lives and make something beautiful out of them. And you can take our small efforts and make great things happen. We ask that you would give us peace throughout this day and throughout this week, that we would be those whose eyes are singly focused on your will in our lives, that we know that mission occurs beyond the four walls of our local churches, and that we are focused on you globally throughout the world in and through all things. In your gracious and holy name we pray. Amen. Have a great week. Hope to see you at the jewelry sale Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Talk to you soon.